All right, welcome to the next part of the Half-Life 2 tutorial. Now, so we have some new tech finally since uh, the last tutorials. We have a new way of save duration. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna come in from the previous map and you'll like end up here. I have a crowbar already, don't worry about it. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna actually bind a key. I have F8 bound to this. I'll have this linked in the description, but how this save deletion works compared to the old way is uh, you have, we have this save, and as you can see, it's ridiculously long, like the file name of it. And this is just a copy plus I, I uh, used instead. But what will happen is that Windows will shorten it because it's too long, and then it will be instantly deleted, and then you reload the save. So you just press this one bind, and you save delete. But uh, you're going to have to either wait for the auto save to appear, or just save load. So what you're going to do is you're going to bind a key to this, bind F8, to something like this. I'll have this linked in the description because honestly this is actually kind of annoying to bind because you have to like find the right amount of characters of the file. So just like paste this in the console and uh, there you go. So what you do is you press the save load key. You have to press the save load key before you press that button or otherwise it won't work. So save load and then the button. And now we're here. So, we have the crowbar, and the crowbar is important because it saves like two seconds on this map, which is the reason why we save delete here. So, now we have the crowbar. We're going to continue through the map. So, we're just going to go through here, then go over here. So, when killing the guards on this map, you can actually pick up the their item they drop instantly. In the case of this guy that we're going to kill, he's just going to drop armor, but the guy up the stairs will drop a pistol. So what you're going to do is, like, right after you kill him, they die in two crowbar swings. So right after the second crowbar swing, immediately press E, and then you'll have their item. So like this. See, so yeah, I grabbed their armor. And we're going to be doing that up these stairs to get the pistol really quick. So now as you do that, two hits on this to break it, jump through, and then just wall strafe up the stairs. And here we go. Two hits, and get the pistol. And continuing on. Move through here, you can wall strafe if you want. And then here are these stairs, I like to wall sh You can wall strafe up them. Actually, everybody wall strafes up them, but yeah. That guy likes to block you, you can kill him if you need. Now here. Here's kind of important. Because once you hit this trigger, you're on a timer because the train spawns when you hit this trigger. And the root, you don't you don't necessarily have to outrun it. It's just uh, it can be in your way, and if you get hit by it, it'll cr either crash your game or you will die, which is two bad things. So, once you just trigger the sequence where the train comes, will start. So just keep that in mind. So, what you need to do is you need to make your way over here, and now you can actually launch off this dumpster, but it's pretty difficult. What I do for the movement for this is I do a circle strafe into a toggle duck jump. If I can actually do it. Circle strafe, toggle duck, and then hit the dumpster, and there's a small chance you'll fly up here. And where we want to go is we want to be up there on top of this clip brush here. So if you don't get that, whatever. It's a really rare thing to get anyway. Come over here. Grab the trash bin, and we're just gonna wall climb. So you're just gonna look a little bit to the right, and then wall climb after you get above the fence, and then you'll just start landing on it like this. Now this is kind of important here because you're gonna have to make your way over there. And now, as you can see, this thing we need to walk on is literally a unit wide, so you have to be very careful. But you can see that the fence below us is on the sa exact same uh, plane as it. So you can just sort of line yourself up and just sprint along it and like just jump forward. Just sort of as a baby strat. But if you want to be, you know, if you want to try like really hard, you can do like this. Or also, you can also do like this as well. But you're just going to make your way over here. And then now, yeah, there's the train. It can crash your game. Be careful. If you're fast, you'll beat the train, but if you're not fast, which you probably aren't at when you're first starting, you're gonna just come over here to this area and then just drop down here and then land on the pallet to avoid fall damage. So I'll do it fast to show what beating the train looks like. 
Yeah, you beat the train. If you like get down here like as the train is coming, just stay against this wall and you won't get hit by it. So let me get back over there and go over the next section. All right, so here, there's two options. One's a really fast option, but it's also like really hard and difficult. You can shoot this window and then jump through it from the stairs. But if you can't do that, you can just shoot the barrel and jump through the window. Or just shoot the barrel and just run up here. And here's a convenient health charger if you're low on HP. Let's say you missed the pallet or something. There's HP here. But you're just going to continue through. Make sure to like aim your crosshair head level here because this guy's going to come down the stairs and you want to get him out of your way as soon as possible. Sprint here. Now we come up to here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to jump crouch. And then uh, grab the box while I'm jumping to jump over the other box. And I'm just going to jump through here. Hopefully I don't get train frames here because that'll be bad. But yeah, once you're here, you're going to do movement here. This The train that just went by, like, if you're fast, will be in your way. So be careful of that. So there's a hard movement here where you can, like, hold this box here and then, like, jump around the corner. We got train frames. Hopefully that's not going to be too much of an issue. And then turn around the corner and wall climb like this. Oh yeah, we're getting train frames, but... Okay, it's just a short time, but... Yeah, you can just go around the corner like that, but if you can't do that... You just set it... You can set it here. Train will probably be going by. And then just wall climb. So you're gonna wall climb up here... On top of the level. So that... We skip a bunch of, uh... This large kit clip brush, because you can't really go to the to the end. So... You need to get across... Just look, just look for this, and that's where you can jump. And then you'll get over here. Careful of the little step here. And make your way this way. Now, this is interesting. Do not fall down here, and do not walk past where this fence is, or otherwise you'll softlock, and you can't get out. So, like, now I'm stuck forever. I can't get out of there. Same with here. So just keep a line out for that. But you just want to come over here as fast as you can. ASH, whatever. The fast strat, I like to AFH into this fence and then like fall down. But you gotta hit these triggers a specific way, otherwise the next level won't load. So, you're just gonna jump on this fence, land here, and then fall down here. Make sure to touch that trigger I just went inside. And then you're just gonna walk back and touch this trigger. So now we're in D1 Canals 01A, the next map. What we're gonna do is we're gonna continue on this way. We're gonna jump up on this thing here. Just sprint and crouch up, and then we're gonna jump on this thing. This thing can be a little tricky to stand on, so because it's really thin, so you gotta be careful. So you're gonna be here, and then you're gonna jump to this this thing, which is kind of strange. But you're just gonna jump, sprint, crouch, land here. Can be a little weird, but be careful. Geometry here is also just a little bit weird, so it might be a little tricky to move around until you get used to it. Okay, get up here. So. I do I do some movement here, sort of like the flow, or like attempt to do like some sort of movement flow. It would look like this, but you're just gonna basically just follow the route I'm taking here to get over here, like that. You're not gonna be doing it that fast, of course, but you're gonna at least get to here. Let me turn off these uh, things. So you're gonna get up to at least here, and what I like to do, like you just walk up here. And what I like to do is you can just jump and ABH off that, and then just make your way uh, through over here. You don't necessarily have to come up here, you can just walk around if you need to. But yeah, you can ABH off that. It's much easier if you do like a circle strafe into it. And you get over here. The reason why I do this, because it gives you a chance to like slope up off this thing to get up here like that. But it's pretty difficult. But instead, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here. Now, this thing here, we need to jump on it. And if you remember in Train Station 02, the map where we uh, jumped over the little fence with that weird little crouch jump, we're gonna have to do that here to get on top of this thing. And it's a little tricky, the geometry. You're gonna have to, like, f feel it out of how this thing works. But yeah, you're just gonna jump on it and then jump up. It can be kind of annoying because this guy's probably destroying you because it does a lot of damage. So. You gotta be really fast here. But yeah, once you get up here, just make your way this way. 
There'll be some guards here. Just kill them out of your way. Keep going. And they're out here. He's just gonna jump on this thing. Jump over this. And then jump over this. Just to avoid the barnacle and having to crawl through there. And continue on. Let's go ahead and ABH the tunnel. Come over here. And now you're in this room. So, I like to grab these supplies as fast as possible. And then turn around. And then catch the barrels. And then move them in a corner. Like this. Just gotta move these props out of the way too. So this is pretty tricky to do. Like, don't worry about this too much. But, if you miss it. It's just gonna get these barrels in one spot. So that they will try to explode all at once. So that's the point of just throwing them, throwing them all in one spot. So that's that. That's done. It opens up the path here. And you're gonna make your way this way, so... There's a cool bit of movement here, which you can't do. You can, like, go over a wagon that's up here, but... You probably can't do that. But So you're just gonna come out here, just sprint through here. You can actually probably just, like, sprint over this box. And just make your way over here. So you're gonna end up on this thing, this, like, pile of rubble. And you're just gonna jump through like this. No need to blow up these barrels or anything. Just go ahead and do that. And then continue way up here. So now you're in the annoying barnacle room, so this can be tricky. So what you need to do is you're just gonna, like, grab the barrel, look left, and then jump, and then just hold D. And, like, W and D here. And then you'll be against the wall, and you'll be fine. Now there's another strat you can do here. So I might as well show this off too, because it's honestly it's not too hard. If I can actually like slow down. But there's this like flat section that isn't like sloped like this. And as you can see, it forces you to ground when when you're jumping. So like you can spam a ton of jumps. But it's like really precise. You have to like land on it and spam jump as soon as you hit it. It's kinda tricky, but I can get my save. I don't know if I just grab another barrel. But yeah, make your way down here. Feed it, feed the barrel to the barnacle that you picked up. And then you're going to make your way here. So you're going to go between this barnacle and this barnacle. Usually this guy will be eating a uh, body that's just in here. But if he's in your way, you can just kill him. It takes five shots to kill him. And just sprint through. Plenty of HP here. Alright, so once you're here, we're going to do our first instance of sprint swimming. So what you're going to do for sprint swimming is you're going to basically... You're going to crawl through here, which will force you to crouch. But as soon as you start falling, uncrouch and press sprint. And then keep holding sprint while you go underwater. This will let you keep your sprint through the underwater section. So it'll look like this. So make your way over here. Press E to hook on the ladder. And then, like, exit up here. So... You have a couple options here. You can do this sort of kind of hard movement, the circle strafe here, to get across this gap. But the circle strafe is pretty hard unless you are familiar with source movement. So we're not gonna. I'm gonna show you the other strat. The other strat is called dolphin strats. What you're gonna do is you're gonna do a uh, sprint swim like before. You're just gonna sprint, enter the water. And then on this left side here, you're just going to look straight up and crouch after you exit the water. And just hold W. And you should land here. Sprint swim, look up, crouch. Make sure you're far enough to the left for it to work. Like that. But if you can't do that, you can just uh, go around, walk around from over there. Continuing on. So once you get over here, you're just gonna, you know, hop through here. You can actually, like, hop through this, which can be pretty hard. You can ABH through it or whatever. But I recommend stopping here. And then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna run forward through this gap. And then this goo's gonna, like, be sort of weird. But what you're gonna do is you're just gonna jump as soon as you touch it. Well, hold forward and jump as soon as you touch it. And then hold D and turn your mouse slightly to the right. And then you'll end up here on the next map. But if, if, you, if you don't do that, have no worry. Because there's bricks here, and you can just walk line really easily. Like, this map here is just a complete joke to skip. But, yeah. So, there's some cool movement here that you can do. Where you can slope off this right here. And then slope up there. I'll try and show it off here. Like 
that and you'll appear or land over there. But that can be pretty tricky. But if you can't do that, this map is still really easy. You just come over here. Stand, you just stand here and you can jump on the corner of this pallet and then just get up and you do the skip. And you just keep going. So a health pack here if you need it. Careful of that block of wood. It likes to get in your way. And just make your way over here. And now we are in Canals 03. And we'll con go over this map in the next part. And I'll see you then.